All right, let's start. So welcome everyone. Thank you for joining our financial literacy class today. I hope we are all ready to listen and to take notes as needed. Um, I encourage everyone to take screenshots of information that interests you all throughout the presentation. And if we have questions, please write them down and talk to the person who invited you after this class. Okay. And for uh, our goals for today are just three things to learn something new, relearn something familiar and unlearn something that needs changing. And for today, we will be discussing um, an overview of financial education, particularly on financial challenges, financial concepts, and financial solutions, so that we will have an idea on what uh, financial literacy is and why is it very important for us Filipinos. And to introduce myself, my name is Mayu Kapol Manbahed, and I will be your host for today. And I will share with you some of the practical and important things that I have learned in IMG. Our mission is to educate 30 million Filipinos, uh, Filipino families by 2030. And we are so glad that you are here with us so we can learn together. And most of what we are about to learn today are all taken from this book entitled The Secret to Saving and Building Your Future. So let's get into it. So to give you a short introduction to financial literacy, let's define what financial literacy is. So financial literacy is defined as our ability to understand money. So when we, when we are financial literate, we understand the concepts of budgeting, saving, emergency fund, investing, debt, insurance, and computing or calculating interests. When we are financially literate, we can make smart financial decisions about our expenses um, on investing in our retirement. We understand the value of money management. Hence, we make good decisions to secure our future. In other words, when we are financially literate, it is knowing how to properly manage our own money, how to allocate money for expenses, for debts, for emergencies, for investments, for future purchases, and for retirement. Further, financial literacy is um, important because we have this common thinking that when it comes to money, the poor continue to be poor while the rich continue to become richer. However, that is a wrong idea because it is the financial literate who becomes rich and will continue to be rich because they understand how money works and the key to financial literacy is by education. That's why IMG or International uh, Marketing Group wants to share to all of us the secrets of the wealthy because financial education is not just for the rich. Financial education is for everyone, no matter what our background is, no matter what profession we are in, no matter what our religion is or our politics are, no matter how much income we earn, no matter if you're already um, rich or have a business, no matter what our education level is. And IMG serves as a link in connecting individuals and families to different financial tools and solutions to achieve financial security. Moreover, in IMG, we will learn that financial education is more powerful than money because money comes and goes and money is just a tool. So in IMG, we will learn that we can control money instead of money controlling us. And of course, not all of us were taught uh, about financial education back in high school or college. That's why IMG continues to spread awareness about financial education to all Filipinos around the globe. And with the guidance of our mentors, we are here to share with you the basics of financial education because we believe that anyone is capable and should be given the opportunity to change his or her life for the better. In IMG, 
uh, or rather, IMG is a community where we learn from each other and we share what we learn to other people. Plus, we never stop learning because as members of this community, we have access to all possible resources for us to learn about money and money management. In IMG, we will learn how to make money, save money the right way, accumulate money or how to double it or how to grow our money, and most importantly, to protect the money that we worked hard for. So why are these important? It's because our future is in our hands and not on anyone else's. We will learn how to manage our own money by understanding how money works and how it will work for us. That's why IMG encourages everyone to acquire financial education because uh, financial education together with discipline will help us become wealthy and financially secure. Moreover, we continue or we want to share to you about financial education because of the financial challenges that all of us are facing. And there are four major areas of financial challenges. The first one is uncertain labor market. So this simply means that there is no security or assurance that our jobs will last long, especially in the private sector. We are not certain if our jobs will be there in the next months or in the next years. And with advancing software and technology, everything seems to be digital or automatic, right? So if you notice, automation is starting to take over, thus replacing more and more human workers. The second major area is low savings and high debt. Uh, I'm sure this is very self-explanatory as this uh, means that we do not have enough savings, but we do have debts or utang. Since we do not have enough savings, we tend to get more loans or utang every time we encounter a financial situation, such as an imed uh, or a medical emergency. So another habit or a habit that adds to low savings and high debt is the mentality of party now, bahala na later, or you'll only live once, or bahala na si Batman. So we spend our money without considering of our future. We just spend, spend, spend. And our lavish lifestyles and bad spending habits have a big impact on our retirement. So instead of a worry or worry-free or comfortable retirement, the retirement money that we get is used to pay for our debts. In short, nothing is left for us to spend when we retire. That's why there are people who continue to work beyond age 65 in order to survive. The third major area is the high cost of education. Tuition fees increase all the time and aside from tuition fees, there are other expenses for education whether our children are enrolled in public or private schools or in any school for that matter and even when they have scholarships. Hence, majority of Filipinos need to save enough for the cost of a good education. And the fourth major area is the increasing cost of living. And this is directly affected by inflation. So uh, inflation is the rate at which money loses its value and the level of prices for goods and services is rising. And in the Philippines for this year, the average inflation rate is 4.5%. So the higher the inflation rate, the lower the value of our money. So let's take, a, for example, our 1,000 pesos. So maybe let's say five to 10 years ago, we can buy groceries that can last for two weeks with just 1,000 pesos. Today, that 1,000 pesos can only buy groceries that is good for, let's say, three to five days, right? And that's how inflation affects the purchasing power of our money. So when there is no increase in salary, what can 1,000 pesos buy us in the next 10 years? So in summary, these are the four major areas where most Filipinos are financially challenged. So how then can we overcome these challenges? The answer to that question is by educating ourselves, by learning about the financial concepts uh, for us to further understand how money works. So 
Today, we are going to share or going to learn about four financial concepts. And these are saving the right way, the X-curve concept, the power of compound interest using the rule of 72, and how to build a solid financial foundation. So the first concept, which is um, saving the right way. So in general, people save money in three ways, the wrong way, the right way, in the abundant way using the abundance formula. So the wrong way of saving is shown as income minus expenses equals savings. So this means that when we receive our income, we spend first on expenses and save what is left. So this is the wrong uh, formula of saving because what if there is nothing left to save after expenses? So most likely we will not have savings if this is the way we save money. On the other hand, the right way of saving is uh, shown as income minus savings equals expenses. This means that when we receive our income, we save first and spend what is left. So this is the right way of saving because we prioritize in setting aside money for our future selves, future expenses, and emergencies. In short, we are paying ourselves first. Okay, And the third way of saving which is the abundant way of saving using the abundance formula uh, this is like uh, as an upgraded upgraded version of the right way of saving and it is shown as income minus tights minus savings equals expenses so we advocate the abundance formula of saving because we strongly believe in sharing our wealth or sharing our blessings or in giving back Tight is the money we give to the church or an organization or to charities that nurtures our spiritual growth. Thus, the formula is earn 100%, give 10% as tight, donation or gift, invest 20%, and live on 70% of our income. And of course, this allocation can be adjusted based on our preference and capacity. Further, if the abundance formula of saving is something that we do not normally practice, make sure then that we are saving the right way by paying ourselves first before spending money on expenses. That way, we will be assured that we are saving money for our future. Okay, the next financial concept is the X-curve concept. So the X-curve concept states that ideally, over time, as we get older, our responsibility decreases and our wealth increases, as shown by the two curves that run to opposite directions during our lifetime. So basically, the idea here is that when we are younger, we have more responsibilities and less savings or no money at all. That's why we work hard to have money. We are less secure when we are younger because we are earning a temporary income to support permanent needs. On the other hand, as we get older, we have less responsibilities and more savings and investments. Because uh, So when we retire, we say we are more secure because we are able to save and invest a portion of our money during our younger years until we get older. Okay. However, there are questions that we need to consider uh, during our lifetime so when we are younger and fulfilling our responsibilities what if we die too soon are we prepared for this who will take care of our families who are depending on us and when we get older what if we live too long do we have enough savings and investments that will last us 20 or 30 more years so if we die too soon life insurance can help take care of our family because life insurance is equivalent to instant cash that can help our family in the event something happens to us. And if we live too long, investment and long-term health care will take care of us. So if our next questions in mind are, how do we get life insurance? Or how do we start investing? How or where to get a long-term health care plan, right? So if those are the questions in our minds, please talk to the person who invited you and they will help you with the right information, okay? So don't forget to get in touch after this class. And moving on to the next concept. 
So the third financial concept to discuss is the power of compound interest using the rule of 72. So compound interest is the result of calculating the interest earned over time by adding it to the principal investment. On, in other words, interest on interest over time. So this is best described using the rule of 72. So the rule of 72 was popularized by Albert Einstein and it is a shortcut used to estimate the number of years required to double our money at a given annual rate of return. We simply divide 72 over the interest rate. So if we have, uh, let's say, an interest rate of 4%, then our money doubles every 18 years. If there's an 8% interest rate, our money doubles every 9 years. And for a 12% interest rate, our money doubles every 6 years. So to illustrate, let's take this on, as an example. So let's say we are age 29 today and we are investing 100,000 pesos. So if we invest that money in an account that provides 4% interest rate, our money can grow to 400,000 at age 65. However, if we invest 100,000 pesos with 8% interest rate, our money can grow to 1.6 million pesos at age 65. And if we invest that 100,000 pesos with a 12% interest rate, our money can grow to as much as 6.4 million pesos at age 65. So basically, when we invest our money, the higher the interest rate, the faster our money can double. And keep in mind that compound interest only works best when investing for the long term, and that is around 20 to 40 years. So let's have another example. So I won't go into detail with this slide, so please take a screenshot to review later, okay? So when we consistently invest money, even if it's just 1,000 pesos per month, and so long as it is invested with high interest rate, such as 12% in this example, we can accumulate enough money when we retire at age 65 to have a comfortable retirement. Okay, so why is learning about compound interest very important? It's because of this. Here in our example, we can clearly see the big difference between money saved versus money invested. So if we save 1,000 pesos every month for 40 years in a savings account in the bank, the total sum is just around 480,000 pesos. And with inflation, its value can be lower. So why is that? If we still do not know this, most banks will only give us 1% annual interest or less. So the key point here is the interest in savings accounts is too low to offset inflation and increasing taxes. That's why IMG encourages all of us to learn and understand about compound interest and investing in the stock market because it is through investing in the stock market where we can safely invest our money and receive 8 to 12% average interest rates and these interest rates are government regulated so why do we invest we invest our money so it can grow a lot more for our long-term goals such as our retirement fund uh, if we want to buy a house in the future if we want to buy a car if we are going to pay for our kids education and others okay and there are two ways of investing in the stock market and i would just like to categorize it as a hard way or the easy way, okay? So the hard way or direct investing, oh sorry, direct investing is the hard way and indirect investing is the easy way. So I'm very sure all of us would want to go the easy way, right? So the easy way or indirect investing is investing in mutual funds. It is the easy way because there are fund managers who will invest our money for us and we can already start investing with just 1,000 pesos. And this is how it works. So a mutual fund is a company composed of many big companies in the country. So we open a mutual fund account, we deposit our money, and then the fund managers will invest our money in those many big companies. And then all we must do is wait for our money to grow. 
and keep adding more money in our mutual fund account. So the returns or gains that we receive from our investment depends, of course, on how much we invested and how much the big companies have profited from their businesses. So in short, while the big companies earn, we also earn through our mutual fund investment. In IMG, we have free classes or webinars on mutual funds investing. So if you are interested in opening a mutual fund account to start investing, please talk to the person who invited you after this class so they can guide you with those next steps. Okay. And before we start uh, investing in mutual funds, let us first learn or understand the concept of building a solid financial foundation. So a strong and sorry, a strong and solid financial foundation will provide us with the peace of mind that we need because these are the building building blocks towards financial security or financial stability. We need to understand that in order to achieve financial security, we should correctly start somewhere, right? And we need to properly build our financial foundation so that when there are challenges or problems that we encounter, such as sickness, unemployment, emergencies, crisis, pandemics, we still have that financial security, that peace of mind. So what is the meaning of financial security? So financial security is defined as having enough money to cover expenses, emergencies and retirement without the fear of running out. So for example, let's base it on our financial foundation. So we are financially secure when we have proper health care because we have health insurance to help us pay for our hospital bills when we get sick, right? We are financially secure when we have life insurance because if we die too soon, our family who are depending on our income will be taken care of. We are financially secure when we paid or eliminated all our debts, all our utang, because we no longer have that extra expense, meaning more savings and investments for us. We are financially secure when we have an emergency fund. Why? Because we are prepared for any financial situation. And we are financially secure when we are able to have savings and investments because when we retire and then we live too long, we have enough money to support us. That is financial security. So how do we start building a solid financial foundation? So in the next slide, you will see, or you will see the action plans that we need to do to start building our financial foundation. When we build a strong financial foundation, we will be provided with a well-established financial house, which means a financially secured family. And to learn more about each block of the financial foundation, you may get this information from the person who invited you. So again, don't forget to get in touch with them after this class. And I will give you a rundown of the action plans on how to build a solid financial foundation. So for proper health care, we get the short-term health care during our working years and start our long-term health care plan for our retirement years. For life insurance, we get the minimum coverage, which is calculated as our annual income or yearly income times 10 years. And we need to live below our means so that or we can avoid overspending and increase our cash flow so that we can manage to pay all our debts. And we need to set aside money for an emergency fund, which is, uh, uh, let's say, 12 months of our monthly expenses. And lastly, we should be able to build our retirement fund goal by computing our annual or yearly income by 20 years. And we can achieve our retirement fund goal by investing in mutual funds and long-term health care. So if the next question we have in mind is, parang hirap naman simulan ang pag-build ng financial foundation. Don't worry because we will focus first on three major financial needs. And those are proper health care, life insurance, and savings and investments. Why these three? You may ask, right? So if you remember the next slide from the topic or under the X-curve concept topic, 
we need to prioritize the two what ifs in our lives. What if we die too soon and what if we live too long? Okay? All right. So as mentioned earlier, IMG is our connector to financial solutions, right? So in this case, IMG partnered with several trusted companies that will offer us the right insurance and investment opportunities. And one of IMG's partner companies that will help us start building our financial foundation is Kaiser International. So Kaiser International is the only company in the Philippines that offers long-term health care that is coupled with life insurance and investment. So in this program, we do not need to save separately for healthcare, another for insurance, and another for investment. That's why it's called a, a three-in-one program because with just one saving, we can already save for these three. So we have healthcare to pay for our hospital bills and as an HMO during our retirement years. We have uh, uh, insurance to protect our family in case or in yeah if we die too soon and we have investment to provide us income that we need when we retire and if we live too long okay so the next slide is uh, an example of a kaiser health uh, healthcare plan so the kaiser ultimate health builder or simply the kaiser plan is a long-term health care plan that we save for just seven years and it matures in 20 years and we have several plans that we can choose from based on age and preference. So in our example here, it is for the Kaiser K100 plan with a total contract price of 411,000 pesos, 750, which uh, we can pay monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, uh, annually or spot cash. Take note that there is also an annual policy fee of 500 pesos. So we don't have to discuss all the details about the Kaiser plan because it might be overwhelming and you might end up with information overload. So I would suggest that you take a screenshot of this slide and discuss it with your inviter. Okay, so just take note of these three items. One, the Kaiser plan is payable in just seven years. We get healthcare, ben uh, sorry, two, we get healthcare benefits and insurance coverage all throughout the 20 year period. Three, if we get the Kaiser K100 plan, in our ex as an, just like our example, and if we did not withdraw the money or a portion of it during the 20 year period, our savings that is 411,750 pesos, which we save for just seven years, it can grow to as much as 1.2 million pesos after uh, 20 years, okay? So the main point here is that the Kaiser Healthcare Program is a health fund for when we get sick, but if we remain healthy, it becomes a savings and investment fund. Okay? All right. So aside from Kaiser International, um, IMG also partner with um, different big companies in the Philippines providing healthcare, life insurance, investment, and other financial products and services. And with these partnerships, IMG is able to provide 62 exclusive benefits to its members, which uh, will help us in saving money and build wealth. So since this is a lot to discuss, allow me then to summarize these benefits in a few slides. So first and foremost, of course, we have uh, unlimited uh, financial seminars, trainings, and workshops, financial checks, checkups, and financial classes, as of course, this is IMG's ultimate mission, financial education. Next, we also receive uh, free gifts. Uh, we have access to healthcare and discounted medical services, uh, discounted in, uh, or affordable insurance uh, products, uh, investment, and discounted financial products and services. Further, we also have access to asset preservation, legal assistance, memorial services, and auto program. In IMG, we can receive rewards such as traveling the world for free. We have world-class recognition and we can qualify for free HMO coverage. And in IMG, we are also provided with informative materials and online tools to support us in our online businesses or online financial businesses and we have free classes and trainings to learn these online system 
IMG is also providing a worldwide protection to our international members, our OFWs, and those with international codes. And lastly, in IMG, we can earn extra income via the business ownership program. So this way, we, can in we are able to increase our cash flow, and this can be the start of our own business career as a financial educator. So if you want to get more information about these exclusive benefits, please talk to the person who invited you. Or you can simply join the IMG community. So to become part or to become a member of IMG, we have two options. We have the basic membership and the associate membership. So this is a one-time payment lifetime membership with annual accreditation. So basic membership is 6,000 pesos for Philippine-based members and the associate membership is 6,000 pesos plus the first month's payment of the Kaiser plan that we get. So for example, so if we get the Kaiser K100 plan, we pay an in, uh, or we pay uh, and initial the initial fee of 12,382 pesos. So in this slide or this table shows the breakdown of the fees that we are going to pay for the memberships uh, membership process. So we can also take a screenshot of this slide and discuss with our inviter about the different Kaiser plans that will suit our needs accordingly. All right? And we encourage our guests to be part of our IMG family because uh, we believe that this community will inspire you and motivate you to achieve financial success because we have been inspired and motivated here. When members of our community save and invest, we are inspired to save and invest as well because the opposite will happen. When we are surround ourselves with people who are spenders, we will most likely spend more than we earn. So let's make IMG our money tribe that will help us overcome the financial challenges and help us achieve financial security. Our overall mission is to convert people from being spenders to savers. And in IMG, we all start as savers and we can become an advocate, an educator, and an entrepreneur. So I congratulate everyone for taking the first step to achieve or towards achieving financial independence by being here today. So we are also encouraging all our guests to invite your family and friends who can benefit from these learnings. As of today, we are able to reach 4 million Filipino families around the globe. So let's share, let us all share the mission and grow our financially educated community. Remember that financial independence is not a dream, it is a decision to make. So don't just dream about financial security, make it happen. And why not start our journey towards financial freedom with IMG? So for, for your questions, I suggest that in the next 30 minutes, please uh, let's meet with our inviters for further clarification and to get access to other IMG classes. So thank you everyone for investing your time today. I hope we all learned something new, relearned something familiar, and unlearned something that needs changing. Thank you again and let's make it a great day.